Go to the Tools panel of Photoshop and select one of the Shape tools. Triangle tool, good as any. With that, go up to Shape, set the fill as you want and apply very quick triangle. That's a vector design, it can be any size. It can be massive, it can be very small. But what you can also do is you can go to Layer and you can go to Layer Style and you go down to Outer Glow. Right at the bottom, so you can just go there, Outer Glow, and you can see what happens. It just creates this and you've got this panel pops up so what's in this panel? Well, you've obviously got lots of other things if you want to use maybe bevels, etc. So you can always click there to create a bevel. I'm not going to do that. Just want outer glow. So blend mode, set that to normal. Opacity 100%. Noise, zero. Now, probably defaults to that as your default one. However, you want a gradient. So go for this one. So that's the second option. And you click there and you can select one of the gradients, any of the gradients in here. And you've got hundreds of them. You've got hundreds of legacy ones. You've got ones that you probably created yourself, etc., etc. Well, you can select that one. Obviously not very colorful, but you can see the design. However, you'll notice as it goes out, lots of sort of slightly bad kinks there. And I think personally, if you want a perfect offset contour sort of design like this kind of thing, probably to be honest, Illustrator is better. So if you've got Creative Cloud, you can always use Illustrator and use various tools in that, offsets, etc., as well as AG offset, which is really good from astute graphics. Also what you need, go for precise or softer. Now softer, personally, no use. Precise, at least it doesn't follow the actual fairly, at the start anyway, it follows it. Also you can modify it here, the spread, make it set that zero, set the size to the max. Unfortunately you can't extend it beyond 250. I don't know why that, these things haven't been updated for years. Doesn't make sense. It's been 250 for ages and ages. You'd think that people's documents are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, that they would extend the sizes of these things. Also contour, you can change that. So if you want to, you can go for something like that. And you, even there, you can see that like so, just slight imperfections. And you can change the range and you can just tweak that as you obviously you crease it out, you can see what happens. Now, if we go the range the other way, you go, it's about, there, 50%. If you go up 50%, you just get the effect just right. You push it down, that way it goes, that's not much good. It doesn't look like a contour to me. So I think 50 is about the right position. So you've got that size, everything's set there, and you can apply it. And again, modify the contour. Go for different contours, and you can see the result of changing contours. However, you can edit this contour. Contours can be edited, but it's a, Unfortunately, a very, very small panel. You've got a couple of sawtooth there, you can go through it and you can see the sawtooth. I think that one's probably even better. You can see the effect there, sawtooth. Now you can probably add three or four of these. You can probably just see what I can just do here. I can just drag that over there, drag that there, and I can click on there. Nope, it's not gonna let me add any more. No, I think that's it. There's a certain point that it just does not like to add any more things, which is a pity. So that's it really when it comes to contour. You can go as only as far as that one, which is sawtooth. I think the sawtooth probably gives the best thing, but it's a pity you can't add a few more. It is so annoying that. Anyway, click OK. And you've got your design there and you can again modify the range, tweak it and click OK. However, what you can then do is you can turn this into a smart object. So you don't have to, you can't unfortunately add multiple outer glows. Be brilliant if you could. You can of course go to layer and layer style and you can add an inner glow, which goes the other direction of course. So you can make, but I don't think that's so effective. But it's up to you of course. But unfortunately outer glow, there is no plus. You've got drop shadows, all of them. I don't know why they left that one off. You'd think that they would have added that one, but it doesn't exist but you can turn this into a smart object. So layer, smart object, and convert to smart object. So as a smart object now, you've got this design. Now you can edit it, but it does make a bit of a hash. I think if you try and re-edit it later on, I found it where it suddenly puts it on the edge of the smart object, which isn't really what I really want. That just seems to be the way it does it. So layer, and again, layer style, and you can add it to this. So let's just go for outer glow again. And you can see the result there. Now you might not 
want that you can tweak that bit obviously it's going to require a little bit but you might not want those colors so you might turn around and say you know what let's go for a slightly different contour and you can see the effects you've got the black there well maybe change it so it starts out black and goes into greens and blues and yellows etc and you can just vary it so you can just change those and again exactly the same as before you turn around modify these change these settings if you want but i'm going with the max 250 and click OK. Again, layer, smart objects, and convert to smart objects. However, you'll notice an issue with this. It, as you go further and further, it gets even more pronounced. You've got this distortion here, just along that line, along that line. So uh, you might not want to push it beyond a two or three, personally. So again, out of color, et cetera, with smart objects. However, probably even a better option is probably to go to Illustrator. If you're in Creative Cloud, you can go and use some of the tools there to create. However, even there, there's no real great, superb contour feature. Finity Photo, Finity Designer, I should say. Finity Designer has got quite a nice color. But even that, with bake appearance, etc., is not great for creating this sort of contour. If you want this sort of design of contour, thing, probably the best one to get, AG Offset. And that's from Astute Graphics, it's a plugin, super useful for creating all kinds of really unique and precise, which is the key thing, precise ones. You don't get the kinks and weird things, it does make it for every object. So uh, that's a quick way of creating these designs. Again, I say, you might want to, you can use other shapes, of course, I've just used triangle. You maybe decide, you know what, you can always go for ellipses. And even ellipses, unfortunately, have exactly the same problem where you, you get these slight odd imperfections in it so layer layer style out of glow again you can see the effect but you can see that is not very circular in the best will in the world that is not circular and it's you know it does stand out a bit i think with if you you can see it even more it's got a bit of a wobble all the way around it but with all these things you can always of course you can fake it because you can always go and think you know what layer and flatten image, and you can always apply effects. So filter, my favorite to hide imperfections is always good old oil paint. Might not hide every imperfection, but you can certainly apply oil paint a couple of times, or maybe a bit of blurring, etc. And you can sort of make it look less, <laughs> sort of, but even there, the wobble is still there. Of course, you can even go the other way and maybe go, you know what, let's not hide it. Let's just use it. So distort and wave, and you can apply wave effects to completely hide it. So put that down to one, and you can see the effect there. Unfortunately, I didn't create it in the center. If you create it in the center, that would be nice, of course. But uh, these tools, it would be nice. Just You can see you can make a nice wobbly effect there. And again, repeat edge using the sign option there. I always go for number of generators one. Personally, I always find if you push it up to say like there, it's great for abstract designs. If you want to create an abstract design, just push up the number of generators, 178, go for it. However, if you want something that looks sort of still like your original design, you can do that and you can see you can create that nice ripple. So it does actually cover up the contour effect. If you want a contour effect, just end up just by modifying the, the waves there, you can sort of cover up any sort of imperfections that were in that thing, because it really stands out, I think. Whereas now, you glory in the imperfection of that sort of that wave design, where the wave is sort of distorting there around it. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.